Hi everyone. Today we're going to explore the post convention kit. So for most people dancing with these oils, it's going to be an absolute pleasure. It's going to be a joy for you because the emotional support really excites me. So we'll address mostly how it's going to work with the emotions as well as our physical body. But really, as long as we remember that what manifests physically, we can usually find the root cause with some introspection and diving deeper into the emotional realm and maybe looking at what we're suppressing, what's not being expressed, maybe looking at old habits that we've, we've still bought into you know how many years down the track right so we can look at letting the essential oils suit us that way so I'm going to begin with green mandarin I love this essential oil we have in this launch the green mandarin pink pepper turmeric yarrow palm magnolia touch so the magnolia touch means it's suspended in the fractionated coconut oil you can use it as a pure fume you can readily anoint yourself with it I'm really excited about Green Mandarin. It's from Brazil. We can pass that around to smell. I love flavoring my water with this and the pink pepper actually. Yeah, Gemma's loving that. It's really uplifting. I feel like this essential oil is like sweet peace and succulent joy all rolled into one. So peaceful, so soothing. I love working with the citruses to support my metabolism and also just releasing, you know, excess, excess um, weight or excess baggage that we're <laughs> carrying around, right? So I really love um, putting the pink pepper with it also. I feel like it's really soothing me. You know, my tummy is my, my kind of compromise point, my vulnerability. So when I travel, I can often struggle with that and eating different foods. So when I'm drinking these two, I feel really supported. And I love, while I'm just talking to you on, you know, metabolism and my tummy, I, I don't necessarily flavor my water with the yarrow palm, but I love putting it on me. It's the yarrow suspended in the pomegranate oil and, you know, just anointing myself with it, anointing my face. I'll go through that in a minute. But I really love putting these in a capsule and I add the turmeric as well, right? And when I put the turmeric, yarrow palm, green mandarin and pink pepper, I just feel like a little tingle goes through my body because <laughs> I just, I took a deep dive into the emotional aspects of them and I thought I would love the support that each of these brings. Like turmeric, I feel really protected and held and that golden color reminds me of, you know, like God's light, like source, universe, whatever you guys call it, right? Goddess. And I feel like I'm connecting with that beautiful source. And for me, that can only mean recalibration of the highest, you know, like soul, my soul and creator intended for me. So I visualize that with the turmeric really deeply. And the yarrow palm, oh, I just feel so soothed by her. The green mandarin, I told you, I feel like it's succulent joy and, you know, sweet peace. So I definitely want some of that. And I do really love citruses, right? So I'll often put two drops of hair in my capsule. And then I'll put like a drop of the pink pepper. And I just love the zestiness, the warming. Um, I used to use black pepper a lot for, um, you know, circulation, peripheral circulation. So I guess for me, it's just like a an anchor, right? Like I feel like the peppers really support me. And I really feel with the pink pepper, like she's working with my heart as well. My heart center, energetic heart I'm talking about and bringing some soothing that way. So therefore that I love, and I can only imagine that for my physical body, my mental body and my spirit body, they're blessing them as well, right? Because we're interconnected. We're one whole yummy being in this cosmos. And if that's the case, then if I can address my emotions really effectively with these oils, then I'm sure it's going to ripple out to the rest of me, yeah? So green mandarin is what we call a top note. So you'll notice her smell quite quickly, right? When you're diffusing her, she'll come off the fastest, right? With other citruses, other top notes, yeah? Um, an affirmation that I feel with this one, just to share with you is, I'm supported by spirit in all facets of my life. I listen to the whisperings of my heart and guidance in the spiritual realm. I listen, I follow, I live in joy, and thus my vibration is magnified. So you can, you can feel my joy for the citrus here, right? Like I feel super held by these oils. And now you know why I, I have her in that combination in the capsule. I just feel, you know, it's like angelic whisperings. 
you know, whether, I don't want to put beliefs on you, you believe in the angels or not, but I just feel like, oh, you know, come on, let's hang out. And I really love Archangel Michael and working with that energy, that vibration. So I feel like the green Mandarin just brings that clarity and that focus for me as I'm walking, you know, with these beautiful, beautiful light things. So for sleep, I've been playing with this a little bit. I use kunzite crystal. And I really, I really love Quinzite because it's such a great heart support, right? And you've been hearing how I feel like these really support my, you know, my, my sacred heart, the upper heart and the lower heart chakra or the center, energy center, right? So I've been working with, um, di you know, different combinations like Mandarin, Pettigrain and Lang Ylang, right? Um, Vetiver, Wild Orange, um, and cedarwood with the green mandarin. Then I also did vetiver, cedarwood, lavender, and green mandarin as my aromatic dressing before sleep, and that was beautiful. Now, while I'm talking about sleep, I want to just bring up these two. And this counts not just for sleep, but just for like that decompression time. <laughs> you know when you just need a moment to just, ugh. The, these these blends I'm showing you now and sharing with you and these will really help with that so if you're feeling a bit stressy like your mind's going you know a million miles an hour a day a moment it's just like not stopping I would consider taking the serenity and the Copaiba soft gels now the serenity I actually take before sleep about half hour before sleep and I've started taking the copaiba in tandem with serenity and my sleep is so much deeper um, I felt like serenity saved my life and it did hands down I sleep really well since using Copa uh, the serenity but since the copaiba I feel like it's deepened even more so I'm not really waking up so much in the night now maybe once um, and I go back to sleep so the serenity works with realigning our circadian rhythms and I've really found this for myself personally because I'm not even having jet lag anymore. So it's it's incredible. And I've been drinking the, you know, flavoring my water with the green mandarin and pink pepper and that's that would be supporting me as well, right? Because I can feel like it's really supporting my tummy. And when we're sluggish there, our whole system is sluggish. Now the copaiba, doTERRA put 120 milligrams of copaiba resin in here. I don't know, whatever they've done, <laughs> whatever magic that's there is has made a difference. Different results to taking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've I found magnified response with this. And I found a difference with it working with my pain body. So mental, physical and emotional pain body. Now, any pain to me is contraction. So I really don't like to talk about pain in an isolated physical sense. As I said in my opening statement, for me, everything comes back to the emotions, right? So what I feel the Copaiba is doing, and frankincense, when we work with him in this way as well, is I trust the intelligence of the plant, of the plant medicine to go where it needs, because I'm not even always aware of what's going on. I'll just realize I'm a little bit grumpy or out of sorts. Like this morning, I was feeling a bit grumpy, a bit out of sorts, right? A bit like, um, I don't really know whether I'm up or down type feeling. And what I did was I just inhaled some green mandarin and I took the magnolia, right? I'm going to talk about her in a moment because I just love her and I, and I just laid her over me. And I had already aromatically dressed and I was feeling great, right? And that, that moved it for me really quickly. Now, the copper heber and the serenity can be used in a, in a similar way. So if you feel those butterflies churning in the tummy, um, you know, like anxious feelings, like fear of the unknown type stuff, right? That's where that stuff comes up. Like we don't know what we don't know. We don't know what's going to happen. We're sitting in anticipation and we become stress heads about it. So we can actually look to support the serenity during the day even, taking one, right? And same with the copaiba, right? For me, what I've discovered with copaiba is it's become an anchor for sleep for me. So for me personally, I'm not using it during the day. But again, see how your emotions feel and how your body feels. But coming back to the pain body, I feel like this has been supporting me so much and I've had so much healing occur. There was a relationship in particular where I was able to, with using this, just drop deeper into meditation and see that coming back into wholeness and love again. 
and I was really anchoring with the copper Eva. Sounds crazy, right? But for me, I believe that these are straight from Mother Earth and they hold such an incredible vibration. And I don't really, like the essential oils, I don't believe they heal us, right? I don't believe anything heals us outside of us. But what I believe is we are all one and we're all connected and our intelligence, that higher intelligence, is what's bringing us back to that wholeness. And these incredible gifts of the earth are aligning with us to bring us back to our natural state. Does that make sense? So let's not give our power away saying something is doing something for us, outside of us, and we must have that, we need that, right? Because we have everything we need within us. These are beautiful gifts from Mother Earth and they're changing lives. They're changing lives because they open our heart to stand in receivership of what Creator intended for us, All right? So does that help with that? Now, the reason I was talking about layering with Magnolia is because Magnolia is such a beautiful, relaxing oil. She is so soothing and so nourishing. Like I was sharing last night at a, at a little class that we had that um, I love at night after I do my skincare and I'll show you what I do with that, just massaging. Like I just take the magnolia and I just roll it around my eyes. And you know, normally like never put essential oils in your eyes, but normally we need to take a lot of care, right? She's so gentle. I've just been putting her around my eyes and you can see I wear glasses. So my eyes can feel quite tired, quite strained. And I just feel like she's just like kissing them, like an angelic little kiss, soothing them. I really love massaging, you know, just rubbing the magnolia up my arm here. So Gem is more expert at this than me, but you know, this is the lung and heart meridian, right? The triple warmer, the pericardium, right? Heart the heart protector, okay? So, so I've been saying heart meridian because I just feel like it goes straight into my heart and my lungs you know, supporting, and when I say my lungs, like that holding point where I can just breathe in life and her gifts. Like I just feel so beautiful when I layer this essential oil there. She is very soothing, very calming. So a great one to anchor for sleep. And again, when your mind's too busy, stressy, you might want to look at behind the ears, behind the neck, you know, even across here, the third eye for meditation. That's really beautiful. Um, I love putting her on my wrist before sleep as well as those other areas and just falling asleep. I'm on my side, so I'm just breathing it in and smelling that, yeah? Um, for sweet dreams, I love a blend of green mandarin, lang ylang, juniper, and marjoram. Marjoram is a very much an unsung hero for sleep. She's incredible. She helps to relax and soothe the muscles, quiet the mind. Um, the green mandarin I spoke about, Lang Ylang, that, that beauty of connecting with that, that inner child, right? The stillness, the quietness. And then Juniper, Juniper Berry is very much a night oil for me. So I know that she's pretty popular to help um, with sweet dreams, but just also very good for me. Like I feel like I'm, I'm just breathing more deeply with her, right? She takes me nice and deep and helps to just dissolve fears. This blend for me, it's really great for the unspoken fears or maybe the stuff I don't wanna look at, right? Um, the, with the green mandarin, when I'm working with, with the green mandarin, I love, I love to remember the words, ask and you shall receive. Because when you ask the universe for what you need, the universe answers, right? It will respond. You will see things start to change there'll be differentiation points in your life. People will start walking towards you, more the people that you're wanting to call in. You know, they're singing you to them and you're singing them to you and, and something starts to work. So I really believe she's reminding us to, to ask, ask in joy, ask in gratitude, yeah? And remember when you're asking, be really specific. So a little practice you can do is take the green mandarin. You don't even need a full drop, you just wet your palm and just, three deep breaths and get really clear, eyes closed, get really clear on your intention. And you can you can massage some magnolia here at that, you know, the third eye and up here toward the crown for the clear direction and just breathe, 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 breathe deeply. Okay? And you can get really clear on your intention. So the other joy with green mandarin is because the green mandarin is, um, 
is plucked from the tree earlier anyway for the harvesters so that the remainder, so 70% of the produce on, a, the, green, on the, the green mandarin tree is taken off and usually it just it goes to waste so that the remaining 30% ripens into what we know as the, the red mandarin, right? So, or the orange. So with the green mandarin, doTERRA is creating essential oil from it. Now the joy of it is, is you can safely wear this out in your aromatic dressing, you know, in your fractionated coconut oil, layering with your mist or with your hand, unscented hand cream. Where's my FCO over here? You can safely wear that out in the sunshine, right? Because she doesn't have that photosensitivity um, of the other citrus oils. So I love combining green mandarin, yarrow palm, blue tansy, geranium, frankincense, lavender, any of those oils, pick two or three of those oils in an aromatic dressing and really nourish your skin with it. This is beautiful for summer as well. So for the mind with the green mandarin, you can look at, because what she's doing is she's bringing this real positivity, this upliftment, you know, lifting the, the heaviness from us, um, from dense thoughts to expansive thoughts, right? <coughs> So you can look at green mandarin, rosemary, lime, basil and eucalyptus in a, in a diffuser for instance, right? You could do green mandarin, cardamom and pink pepper in a diffuser. Equally you can aromatically dress with these. So about 10 mils of FCO and a drop or two of each and rub a dub dub over your body. And maybe you want to say an affirmation, calling in whatever it is you want to or just affirming yourself, right? While you're anchoring with these, while you're putting them in the diffuser, putting them on you. The emotional message with this very clearly for me is that I feel safe, I am safe, you are safe, right, with the green mandarin. And I love that the joy that she brings and that sweet serenity, that calmness, has us come back into that place of safety because when we're feeling calm, we do tend to feel held and quite safe, would you agree? So the green mandarin takes us on a very special journey of this. She's calming, soothing and gentle. And I really love that feeling of just releasing emotional strain. So I really enjoy combining green mandarin, pink pepper and turmeric. And you just need a drop of turmeric. It's very smoky, right? It's very potent. I love this. And I'll use turmeric to support, coming back to what I was talking about earlier, the pain body. Because turmeric, like everyone's drinking their golden drinks and turmeric lattes and, you know, putting it in cacao and all sorts because turmeric has been renowned through all the ages for its incredible impact on bringing change, positive change to our, our mental state, emotional state, our physical state. So when you're using turmeric, let's go into that golden ray that comes in with it, that beautiful golden colour. It's universal light or gold, God's light, right? So really, when you're working with turmeric, I really drop in to ask and you shall receive. I'm like, what is it? If I, could, if I could bring in anything right now to change my state, what would it be? And I work really powerfully with turmeric. You can look at the color also, you know, looking at that abundance ray as well, that golden light, abundance in whatever it is you want to dip into, in health, in wealth you know, meaning financial prosperity, but also abundance in your creativity, in your emotional harmony, um, in your calmness, right? Abundance comes in many ways. So I really love teaming turmeric with something like citrine. I've just been, Adam Barillet and I have been dancing a lot together with the classes and it's really got me just really becoming more conscious of the crystals that I, that I used to work with so beautifully and dance with. And I just have around the home and feel their presence and hear their whisperings. And now I've just been more consciously, you know, working with them, dancing with them. So I'm just throwing this in now because, you know, I think we all teach what we're journeying with and what we need to learn most. So that's just a little something on the side. So you can use green mandarin and turmeric together also to do something like making yourself a yummy cacao elixir. And what I've been playing with, even more chocolate as well, or your bliss balls, and what I've been playing with is just immersing a toothpick down the eye of the dropper and popping that into my elixirs and more chocolate. And you just go toothpick by toothpick into the cacao mix. Obviously clean toothpicks every time. <laughs> so you're not dipping your, your cacao toothpick back in. All right, so a blend that I really love is green mandarin, Douglas fir, and myrrh. 
and if you wanted you could add some spearmint to that and that's really beautiful for for soothing you at night for bringing calm in the day maybe after the rush of children coming home and they're needing some joy around them so green mandarin douglas fir myrrh and spearmint and myrrh is like that mother oil that real holding yummy oil um, green mandarin, Roman chamomile, and tangerine for nighttime. For sleep, might be something really yummy for you. And then for sleep, as an aromatic dressing, while you're diffusing that, you could do green mandarin, yarrow palm, and Roman chamomile. That would be really beautiful for sleep. Or green mandarin, lang ylang, yarrow palm, and some some yummy cardamom right which will help with just breathing deeply in sleep which takes us deeply into sleep yeah so um i really love also working with um with blends with these essential oils so green mandarin with digestion for me has been really beautiful so when my tummy felt a bit icky I just massage a little bit of FCO the green mandarin and the the digestion to help me with you know not not to be you know feeling like I'm carrying weight and you know or feeling um, puffy or if you if you carry fluid you know after flights or hot days we've got summer coming up here you could look at green mandarin and cypress with grapefruit Right? Take care with grapefruit, obviously, out in the sun. But you could do that at night. You could have a foot bath with, with those oils. You could do spearmint, cypress, you know, and, and grapefruit, for instance, or peppermint to cool you down. Yeah. So with the yarrow palm, the, the joy of this, oh my gosh. This will have a dropper, by the way, you guys. So like the blue tansy and the German chamomile, we have the shimazzoline in this right so as we drop her out you're going to see hopefully you can all see this so this one is a little more viscous with the carrier oil so it does take a little bit of time to come out but when she does she's a glory you know so if you guys can see that and then i just you know that one drop i just dab around to my face and massage it into my neck and decolletage and I really love putting it on the top of my hands as well. If I just put a little bit for you on your hands. And then you just, you know, you can just massage it in and take three deep breaths. I feel like, you know, the, the Yarrow Palm is like all things sacred and holy. <laughs> I really feel. And you know, with Blue Tansy, I really felt like it was like that moment when the clouds parted and that ray of sun comes down and the angels are singing and down comes Blue Tansy from on high. You know, I really feel that with this beautiful Yarrow Palm as well, that beautiful connection to the divine, that, that return to what's sacred and holy, as in whole in our lives, right? Um, so let me just drop into something over here for you. I love the doTERRA skincare ranges. I'm a girl who, you know, never ever used to faff with skincare at all. Um, and then I met Verage and I fell in love, right? So you're receiving this thing. Just, you just might need to mute that. Um, receiving this, the Verage cleanser, the toner, the Solubel Hydrating Serum and the Moisturizer. And it's only a hundred Aussie dollars. It's amazing for all four of those. So I love those. Something else that we've really been playing with is the, the doTERRA Essential Skincare Kit. Now this is the hydrating cream. It comes in a tub and it's fabulous. It's absolutely fabulous. So I, I love traveling with this and Paul's really risen in love with this as well. And what I do is, is I take my blue tansy and I just put like a crescent moon on there of blue tansy. You don't even need a drop, just kind of wet it on. And I'll put a drop of yarrow palm and then I'll take a scoop of that and I massage it all around the face, my ears, behind my ears, behind my neck, my neck, my chest. Like it's, it, it goes, it spreads. And that's been really beautiful. I feel like when I use the blue tansy and the yarrow palm together with this, that I am feeding my skin. What goes on our skin is the largest organ of our body needs to be good enough to eat. So 
aside from those energetic and emotional benefits I said, like I'm feeling now like my physical, beautiful, sacred temple is really being well cared for with the Yarra Palm. So it's suspended, did you all smell this? Yeah, it's suspended in the pomegranate oil, which, yum. And that just reminds me of Persephone, you know, the story of Persephone going to the underworld and, you know, she had those six little pomegranate seeds. So that's how our seasons were born. So Mother Demeter was in such grief while she was looking for her, you know, it, winter came, right? And then when Persephone appears and she returns to the upper world, I'm not doing, I love telling the story of this, I'm, it's not really this class, but you know, when she comes to the upper world, we're back to summer. And I feel like that's what the Yarrapon brings us, this lightness, this brightness, this comfortability with what dwells within our shadow and being okay with that and still being in the joy with that. That beautiful dark blue reminds me of that, to just be comfortable with it, make friends with it. It is who I am. I just don't have to be run by the shadow aspect stuff, yeah? So as you look at the plant of the yarrow, it's really interesting because um, on the outside, you can look at it and it can appear quite strong. Yeah, the, you know, the, the woody parts can be quite strong or, or hard to touch. You know, when you touch a twig or a branch, it's quite hard to touch. So, um, or tough maybe, some people could call it. But the inside, there's this tenderness and this softness and this succulence, right? Which is the yarrow, where we have this beautiful yarrow essential oil. And I feel like as humans, that's how we can be judged sometimes, isn't it? Especially when we're going through emotional stuff because we all have our defense mechanisms. For, so for some, it could be that they toughen up, they get stronger, right? They put up this shield. They may not be breathing deeply anymore, but you know, I'm gonna protect. But inside, what's happening? There's this tenderness. And the yarrow invites us to that tenderness again, to allow ourselves to be tender with ourselves so this is definitely a nutritive duo two of these together like i'm talking my emotions feel so harmonious when i'm working with this my mental state feels so much quieter and stiller when i'm when i'm dancing with her yeah um okay so for the emotions i was as i was researching yarrow when they released this because i was really super excited um in times gone by, this was also known, well, well, there's been many names, but one of the names was wound wart, and soldiers used to use it. Actually, if you, if you go back into Greek mythology and, and the heroes, you know, back in the times when, when those gods and goddesses were wreaking havoc upon the earth, Hercules was said to have used Yarrow to help his soldiers to heal, and one of his lovers, actually. And going to the story of it so so I I take a bit of a journey there and I'm like so if she's great for what for healing wounding that means if I'm bleeding physically she might really support me there right if I'm bleeding emotionally like how many times do we use the expression the bleeding heart or I feel like oh my god it was like a knife to the heart that real wounding or in the gut or you know the lower back between the shoulder blades like a knife between there i'm thinking why would we not turn to yarrow palm for that kind of wounding as well would that make sense so we could combine yarrow palm with helichrysum maybe some frankincense lavender maybe a touch of geranium if part of that wounding is very like based in anger frustration resentment seething emotions, rage even, right? Let's play there, let's play with that. The children, can we see how maybe that could bring some harmony to that child who isn't able to express, right? And you can layer with the children's range with that. So this is a great one to turn inward with. So I would combine Hawaiian sandwood and frankincense with the yarrow palm, which is a beautiful skin tonic, but also great for meditation, connecting with the divine. Um, great for that self-study or reflection. Um, opening our inner vision. You know, when we can work with wounding, we become much more perceptive. So something else to play with, you know, I've played with her a little bit for, for meditation, deepening with some, I love Hawaiian sandalwood and with the frankincense. I also did an arbor vitae, yarrow palm and rose melody, and I layered with rose. 
Um, neroli is another beautiful relaxing oil, so you could layer with neroli. You know, do a do a sleep blend or rest blend or meditation blend of you know green mandarin, Hawaiian sandwood, lang ylang, and yarrow palm, and then layer with the magnolia. Um, okay, so I've covered the skin support. I would also, knowing that one of the nicknames was you know wound wart, um, I would also look at for women and for young girls who struggle with their monthly courses, their moon bleed, um, maybe supporting by massaging over the abdomen. And you could use it with some digestin, for instance, maybe some blue tansy um, and Roman chamomile. Like bring those chamomiles and the tansies with the yarrow in to really relax. But maybe it will help the flow as well, you know, during the actual moon bleed. Um, I would also look at cypress, lemon, lavender and yarrow palm to support flow and strength and um, inner in a resilience maybe if we're feeling compromised by environmental threats I would consider using those for that as well uh, maybe tea tree yarrow palm frankincense and arbor vitae as well you know when you're looking at these essential oils you can look at how they are in nature what they look like how they feel in nature and then look at bringing that to us so the flowers are open right now often they're great for working with the heart but I also think about that for my tum tum because when it's not comfortable there, it's closed, it's tight, and I can't breathe as deeply as I normally would. So I've just been massaging the yarrow palm over that and over my lower, lower back and up my spine to support that as well. Okay, so they were just some notes that, that I had that I wanted to share with you. The turmeric as I said, I've really been playing with for, for food flavoring and just to receive the benefits there. The pink pepper, oh, she's a glory. I'm loving how this is supporting um, women in developing countries, in particular in Africa, to help them to support their families without being on the, on the um, street and, you know, having to compromise I guess their virtue and their heart space so that they can support their children. There's a beautiful story, you can look at the doTERRA video on it with um, some beautiful women, but there's one story in particular and it talks about when her husband passed away, she made, she was making like ropes to sell in her village. And when they bought them, they bought them, they had them, they were strong, they were good. So she didn't really need to, well they didn't need to keep buying from them. But when she went back to them, the, some of the men said to her, we don't need more of that, but we could do with something else. So I think for all of us, when we're in that situation, we do anything for our children, right? So without judgment, it's not needed here. This is what so many of us turn to, the desperation, right? To keep our children alive. And the pink pepper story is so profound because all it takes is one person to care enough, to love enough, to help bring change, to be bold enough and courageous enough. And this man has. He helps to take these women off the street and for them to make a choice. And they climb the trees and pink those, pluck those, or pick, sorry, those pink peppercorns. Right? So now we have a whole new co impact story. Right? When we're looking at co-impact sourcing and healing hands in doTERRA, it's profound. So the pink pepper is amazing as food flavoring. It's great with cacao. You can do some really beautiful melodies and have a lot of fun with it. I love combining it in FCO or in the unscented and I've really enjoyed putting some pink pepper in my body butter. It just gives it a real ping. I actually really love the smell of this. I think they've done it perfectly. But sometimes I just feel like, oh, I want a bit of this. And I did some green mandarin and pink pepper together and I was just singing. My whole body was singing, right? So you can play with, you know, they, they get their melodies right, doTERRA. But if you want to add a little something for that extra emotional support, go for it. Just play with it. Just put it in your hand or in your bowl. This is divine. I'll just show you how this works. You just spray it. It's a mist and it will work anyway. Upside down, like any, 360 degrees. You turn it and then you massage it in. And it smells beautiful. It has the beautiful blend in it, um, which has a lot of osmanthus. So again, I feel like my heart is singing with this. I feel like the osmanthus is just going in. Have a try, Jack. Just 
spray it on and rub it in. This is amazing to support our skin to really nourish it. This is going to be great for like crocodile skin. When you feel like your skin's all dry. Well, you know, do, do we still call it that? I remember my mum calling it that when I was a little girl. Oh my gosh, my legs look like crocodile legs, you know, like crocodile skin on them. So it's kind of stayed with me. But so you can spray it um, to really nourish that. Of course, the body butt is amazing. And there's nothing to stop you from using this and layering with this, you guys. Like, play, have fun with this. I love this as a treatment in my hair or just spraying my hair to spruce it up especially the bottoms and in summer it's going to be great like you the curly hair the frizziness just putting a bit on my ends and then just massaging it through of course we have the root to tip serum right guys but sometimes i just want a bit of this magic i just want to smell there's beautiful oils in there but that osmanthus really really takes me away okay so something else they released which is super exciting is the on guard mouthwash and actually, I forgot to bring the Balanced deodorant out, but they have a beautiful deodorant as well. Now, the mouthwash, they give you a cap so you can measure it. So go a quarter cap, a half a cap, full cap. But I would say half a cap is enough. It packs a punch. This is really, really strong. Um, so we'll pass it around and you can have a smell. I actually just put a little bit in like that, and then I just put some of my alkaline water in there. Oops, wrong thing. You're not going to smell it from that. And, and then I gargle. This is gonna be great for our gum support and teeth support, but also just as a breath freshener, right? Um, really great for if you do tongue brushing, just to get that done. So here's the Balance deodorant. This is beautiful. This is a new formulation of our deodorant. Paul says with the old one, he felt like it was waxing his hairs out and his underarms. <laughs> it was a bit too dry. So this here is really nourishing and moisturizing. And the essential oils, if I can just speak to that, the, um, the essential oils in our balance blend, you have your trees, but you also have your blue tansy in there as well. You've got osmanthus in there. So again, so nourishing for the skin. I'm gonna put a lid on this because being Italian and talking with my hands, I can just see it's gonna go everywhere. Okay, so how are you feeling about this so far? Are we excited? Now, when I do my skincare and I do the blue tansy and the yarrow palm, you know, and then layer with the magnolia, you also have this beautiful anti-aging eye cream which has the, the blue tansy. Play with that, it has a stainless steel top. Play with that. They've also got the brightening gel here. So play with what they have, you just need small amounts. You know, you're, you're nourishing your body at a whole new, whole new level. All right, excitement. So the last part of this I'm gonna share with you is the kids pack. Now, these kids oils are amazing for us adults, just saying. It's just a matter of whether they're gonna share it with you. We've donated a whole pack of this to our daughter's classroom, she's at a Steiner school. And the parents love that the kids have got this. The teacher loves it. We've also donated a diffuser and some blends that Ariel has selected. And the children can literally come up and anoint themselves in the day to support themselves with whatever they need. So, they, they come with just the white lid, as you can see under there, and the sticker. So you can leave it as that, or you can put these little tops on, and they can hang them from their backpack or their little bags. Or just leave them so stronger is the protective blend Ariel was so excited by this because like last night she was feeling a bit under the weather and asked for on guard and autogarn on her feet she knows they work and we do that for her because they're quite strong so we give her feet a massage with that but this is what she anoints herself with when she feels compromised right she's not into the strong smell of some of the others like the on guard and the autogarn but she loves the smell of this and it has rose in it it has the fraction, so all of these have the fractionated coconut oil, you carry oil. It has cedarwood, litsia, frankincense, and rose. So these are powerful emotional oils. This is like for resilience, for inner strength, right? It's really harmonizing. Of course, it's going to work with the heart center with that beautiful rose in there. Rescuer. So again, something like the athletic blend or even the aroma touch blend, it can feel too strong for them, right? The, um, the Aroma Touch oil that they call the Spa Blend is beautiful to massage on the, on the kids for their legs and you know after workouts, same with Ice Blue as they get a bit older, the Athletic Blend, the Deep Blue. Um, but with, with this blend, the Rescuer, 
You have lavender, or the copaiba, lavender, spearmint, and xanthalite. Uh, sorry, xanthalysum in there as well, which is really going to support any contractions. So before they do sport or afterwards, um, if they're growing and, and experiencing contraction there or discomfort in their legs, their arms, you know, their limbs, you can use re um, the Rescuer blend to soothe and comfort them in that time. It's also really nice before sleep, the, the soothing blend. Inca, I love this. I'm actually not a big fan of some of the, the stronger oils, like the Intune. It can be a bit heady for me. But this Thinker, as you can see, I'm not quite giving it up, am I? It's one of my favorites. So this is great for, for that increasing that mental capacity. Like, you know, when we're in um, Global Convention in Utah, I love taking it all in. And we were all anointing ourselves with this to stay focused. It was amazing. So in this baby, we have um, vetiver, peppermint, clementine and rosemary. Now isn't it great that the vetiver is in this? Because it keeps us grounded and solid and helps to relax the brain so we can actually take more in. Rosemary, oh, or if you read all of the research on how great she is for, for um, memory retention, um, focus, just supporting the brain, the mind. Um, okay, so karma, let me pull this one out. Love, love, love. So you can use this of course for sleep. But also if children are just feeling out of their body, you know, tantruming, coming out, they need to land a little. You can use Karma, and Karma has in it the lavender, the um, Kananga oil, Buddha wood, Roman chamomile. I was super excited about Buddha wood being in this. I love Buddha wood, I love working with Buddha wood. I was so excited doTERRA has included this in. Soothing, calming properties of this blend are outstanding for the children. So again, you can massage it in the forearm, the wrists, behind the neck, and actually, these flashcards that doTERRA has made that each of the blends come with, it tells them, right? It tells the kids in really simple languaging so they can see the purple. And each of them has a symbol, the brain. Oops. So it will have the body for those two. So stronger and rescuer. Steady and braver for the heart, the emotions. And then and thinker are for the mind, the brain, right? And it tells them really clearly how they can use it. So when it's bedtime, roll karma onto the bottoms of your feet and onto your wrists, climb into bed and take a deep breath and let your mind rest, right? So these just go on, on and off really easily with that little clip there. And the kids can use these so beautifully and so simply in their everyday life. And then that just clips back on there like that. So they're the flashcards. So that's Karma. Are you liking these blends? Okay, so now we have these two beautiful babies for the heart. We have Brave and Steady. I'm going to leave Brave to the end. I love Brave. Steady. Up and down the spine. So beautiful. Soles of the feet, the wrists behind the ears. We have amaris, balsamfir, coriander, and magnolia over the heart center, emotional release stuff. Let the child be wrapped up in love with, with this beautiful blend, with Steady. For those times when you feel nervous, or you know, those, those butterflies, the anxious states, rub Steady on your neck and wrist to calm and comfort your emotions. And now we have Brave. This is the Courage Blend. I love the song that this weaves. I love the melodies that have come together with this synergistic blend. I love how uplifting it is. You know, for bravery, for courage, it needs to sing to the heart because courage, courage, is born of the heart, yeah? So in this, we have wild orange, of course, amaris, osmanthus, and cinnamon. Just a little bit of cinnamon in there, that spice. And with the amaris and the osmanthus, again, the osmanthus, you know, we're looking at the flowers coming in. So we're working with the heart center, right? It comes in this beautiful pack, you guys. So again, this can clip on very easily to a bag. You know, hang, they can hang it up. It's easy to wash. It's, it's textured, I'll pass it around. So for the 
the children who are um, loving to touch and feel things, there's a button clip at the back of it so you can hold it like this and have the oils sit in it like that because there's a space for all six oils. And here, Kira Fisher, one of our beautiful diamonds, had the idea of putting, you know, making your first aid stuff in there and you can travel around with it. You know, you might take some of the, the deep blue rub in there, sachets, maybe some toothpaste for emergency, maybe you can make some owie blends, whatever you like. Um, Band-aids in there as well, whatever, whatever it is that, that you want to create, yeah? For some, I'd be putting some terra armor in there, you know, for that insect repellent. So I'll pass that around and you can have a feel of the texture and have a play. So I think I've covered everything. How are you all feeling? Any questions? Any questions from you guys online? From Zoom, did you enjoy that? Sorry you couldn't smell it. <laughs> we were smelling it for you, ladies. The can can any get worry? What's that? I need to research it more, but again, you've got calming and soothing properties. Mm -hmm. You have uplifting properties in it. Um, the Kananga is also really good for, um, for me as I use it, I feel like it's helping to take me out of that sympathetic overdrive. That's why it's in Karma, because we need that parasympathetic activated, right? The parasympathetic system activated to come into rest. So I feel like it's supporting that. The switch off. Yeah? yeah? The switch off. Yeah. yeah. Any other questions? Jim? No questions. Sure. Love them. Can't wait to add them to my collection. Yay. Yeah. You're going to love them, you guys. Be happy. Yeah. Ness is happy. Okay. My pleasure, everyone. So if there are no questions, we'll end there. You can order these at the moment from your US site on your back office. So do it as your LRP, Loyalty Rewards Order, LRO rather, um, and you get your points obviously on it. Um, we have our convention May next year, so it's usually after our convention. It takes time to get them um, TJ approved for here. So by then we should be able to order them here, okay? Um, I think that's it. Any other questions, Jen? Anything else? Okay, great. Thanks so much for having me, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the experience, the journey, and that you enjoy these um, beautiful new products. Thank you.